<laughs> and, it's, and it's actually city, because if you're on the other side of Locan, huh? it's county. <laughs> okay, so we're here in Close, California, and we just finished installing this Watts pump. Uh, the old Grunfos gave up the ghost, so we replaced it with the Watts. Same thing, uh, you know, they cost the same, they run the same, everything's good. What we did do while we were here is... Um, we don't like this pump down on top of this nipple because it's got a heat trap right there and there's a conflict between the gasket that sits in there. Maybe not so much for uh, the pump, but it definitely these corrugated supply lines, they kind of slip over the edge of that heat trap and, and then it doesn't seal very well. So we like to put a brass uh, coupling and nipple on here to build it up. We file down the top of that brass nipple so it's got a nice flat surface and that way you're not uh, you know, penetrating that gasket with a sharp edge. And then back on the back side, this is the iron pipe nipples original to the home that's stubbed out. We did file that flat as well because it was pretty well corroded. So now you have a nice exposed uh, uh, surface for that gasket to seat against. And this is a Falcon stainless steel connector. It's three quarter by 18. Um, these are the biggest in the industry, a 0.725 inside diameter. Most uh, lines you can see the difference between here, 725 outside. So these are ultra flexible. You can take these out, straighten them out, use them again and again. And uh, they're a little bit more expensive. That's what we like, that's what we use. So anyways, we did replace the crossover valve that goes to the Far Master bath. Uh, comes with the kit. The old one was a Grunfost, and so uh, same technology, a little crossover valve back there to mix the water. And so that's new as well. We didn't touch anything back there. Just put a valve in. The braided lines look fine, so we left it alone. Outside of that, this installation is done.